Hi there, it's Alexis at Wellbeing Umbrella. We're just putting together a quick video on the location tab just to explain a little bit more about um, the importance of the location tab. So it is on all listings, whether you're adding a product, um, a, an appointment, an event, etc. And it's it's more essential on appointments or um, even events if they're not located at your store. So, for example, on this um, store that I've set up here is the Hinley Healing Room, which is based in Wigan. However, I may be running events in Manchester, I may be running events in London, I may do appointments in different towns and cities. And that's where the location tab would need to be amended because my store settings is set up for me being based in Wigan. However, if I'm running events or appointments in different areas, that's where we need to update the location tab because it will be used in the filters for when people are searching for events in certain areas or appointments in certain areas, you would show up um, within those. So obviously you'll come on to, you'll log into your account and this it, you'll come to your dashboard. So you can access um, your listings either by scrolling down the menu bar here, or you can add um, new listings of you, active listings that you've already created by using the panel buttons here. So we'll just go into view active listings. So I'll just bring up one that already been completed so I'm going to use um, an event for this example video. Yeah so you'll be able to see I've already um, created the event here and I'll just go to edit it so you can see it from, from the back door. Yeah so you'll see here um, we've already put a title in We've added an image, we've put um, our category in and given um, a brief summary up there. So I'm just going to scroll down to the location tab because that's what we'll be looking at today. So we just click on the location. I'll just delete, delete that for now. So you just type where your event will be taking place. So I just put the Trafford Centre in Manchester and you can see there that it's it's picked up the location and it's confirmed the location. I'm just going to show you how um, that differs on the um, how it can differ, should I say? So you'll see that I've got one set up already here, and you'll see it says venue online. That's because you do need to add uh, or update rather the information here in the event section where it says venue name that's where what you put in here is where that pulls this section here of the venue so it's got it um obviously it's got it set as online at the moment however I just need to copy the address there and update it in there if I wanted to okay but I'm not going to do for the moment because I'm just going to show you where um, this information is how it's used basically. So for users coming onto the marketplace, they'd, um, for example, we'll just want to view all the marketplace at the moment because this can apply to appointments, etc. So if I put in here London, you'll be able to see I just put my event was based in Manchester. So if I put London in here, you'll see that my event doesn't show up. My yoga class isn't here. It's only showing um, appointments and events that are in the 25 miles of London. However, if I put Manchester in here, I'll just click events because that'll narrow it down. Yeah, you'll see my yoga class is now showing in the filter section. So that's why it's important um, if I'm running an event that is different to my store of, of why it's important to fill this lo location section in here because that is actually where people are able to search on the marketplace 
for any appointments and events etc and like I said you then if you're wanting it to display you want wanting your venue name to display to the general public you just need to go oops, let me pressing all the wrong buttons here <laughs> yeah you just need to go into the event section and then just delete the I've just copied copied it from the location location section and updated it Yeah, so it's successfully published. So then when I go here and just refresh my page, you'll then see that it's updated the venue to show the traffic center there. Okay, so I do hope this video has been um, helpful for you and thanks for watching. <laughs>